It's hard to believe, but at one time there were more than 4,000 drive-in theaters across the U.S. There are only about 300 left, including the Sundance Kid Theater in Oregon. And shutting off its screens isn't the only issue it's facing. Our Tatiana Cash is live at the drive-in to explain. Tatiana? Melissa, the Sundance Kid drive-in technically doesn't actually have to shut down its screens because the land under the theater is actually what's being sold. And a new nonprofit that's been formed actually plans to buy the drive-in. However, they're going to change everything about it. The Sundance Kid drive-in is an Oregon staple. Owner Kevin Christie has been at the helm since 2019 and says the property owners put the land up for sale about two years ago. What complicates this? Their portion includes the sale of the screens and the concession stand, but other components of what make the drive-in belong to Christie. And if they want to continue it as a drive-in, then they have to, in essence, buy me out, or I just pull all my equipment and move elsewhere or sell it and off we go. A newly formed nonprofit, Save Our Screen, wants to save the drive-in. Executive Director Jennifer Beaver says they'll work with Christy, though he didn't know anything about that. The nonprofit does have specific plans for the drive-in's future. We want to make it go back to the Parkside drive-in, is, which is what it was when it opened on April 27, 1949. Christy isn't trying to buy the land and says he's not against change, but one thing he wants to stay, his ownership. Me, I got another two or three good years before I really want to retire. And uh, we were really working towards getting here, the Sundance, for the 75th anniversary. Save the Screen doesn't have the money, but is fundraising and has other ideas. To transition uh, to April 27th, 2024, which will be the 75th anniversary and it'll be a community drive-in so everyone can enjoy it and eventually we will bring in the first national museum of drive-ins. So what's next? We are in contract now uh, with the landowners and so now we are going full fledged to raise the money to pay for that. For me personally it's you know it's it's over at that point for me so unless we can like I said come to an agreement. Now, both Christy and Beaver say that this will all be finished up around the end of this year. So, of course, we will wait to see what happens next. Here in Oregon, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11.